Hello, I'm Congressman Mark Ticano. For the past year, I've had the tremendous honor of representing California's 41st Congressional District and serving the residents of the Inland Empire. Our region was hit particularly hard by the Great Recession as we experienced an unemployment rate higher than the national average and more home foreclosures than anywhere else in the nation. Despite these challenges, I'm proud to say that the state of the Inland Empire is improving. Albeit not fast enough, our unemployment rate is falling and the housing market is recuperating. Throughout 2013, my staff and I committed ourselves to providing a high level of constituent services and representation. My office closed nearly 250 cases and returned more than $1.1 million in benefits to residents. Wanting to hear directly from local entrepreneurs, I began a tour of 100 local businesses. From mom and pop stores to multi-million dollar corporations, I talked with business owners and employees directly so I could take their concerns back to Washington and figure out ways to help grow their businesses. My office also worked to help local organizations and government agencies secure grant opportunities. I'm proud that my office helped ensure that the $75 million grant awarded to the Riverside County Transportation Commission for the construction of the Paris Valley Line was not rescinded during the time when litigation jeopardized this project. My staff worked hard to prevent any construction interruption during the government shutdown. This extension of the Metrolink will create thousands of jobs and ease traffic congestion for our region. I'm happy to say that construction is proceeding as I speak. Legislatively, I introduced several bills that address a multitude of issues. The Vet Success Enhancement Act, which would increase veterans' access to important services. The Job Skills for America's Students Act, which would promote job training partnerships. The Work Study for Student Veterans Act, which would restart an important program that was initially included in the post-9-11 GI Bill. The Access to Complete Education Act, which would establish a grant program for school districts, and the Warriors Peer Outreach Pilot Program Act, which is designed to improve veterans' higher education outcomes. I also co-sponsored many pieces of legislation that would benefit the people not just of the Inland Empire, but the nation as well. These are pieces of legislation that would protect women, improve our immigration system through comprehensive reform, invest in American jobs, give student loan relief, protect LGBT students and workers from discrimination, help homeless veterans, and strengthen Social Security. And finally, I took a stand against every effort to undermine the progress our nation has made in the last five years. The Inland Empire has one of the highest uninsured rates in the nation, more than 24 percent, and defunding or dismantling parts of the Affordable Care Act would return our friends and neighbors and many more to a life where a single illness or accident could potentially cause financial ruin. Our friends and neighbors are now accessing health insurance without being denied coverage because of pre-existing conditions, without insurance companies placing yearly or lifetime coverage limits, and without women paying more than men. Attempting to pry this financial security away from the American people through shutting down the government or threatening the full faith and credit of the United States is reckless and irresponsible, and I promise to stand against any and every effort to do so. The Affordable Care Act is not perfect, but it is a step forward for our nation. We should mend it, not end it. Moving forward, I hope that congressional leaders will do away with the partisan posturing and address the many issues we face. Congress must pass a real jobs bill, one that will invest in our infrastructure, research and development, and job training programs. Congress must also extend unemployment benefits to the long-term unemployed and raise the minimum wage, which is long overdue. Congress must protect Social Security and Medicare and not give in to privatization schemes, chained CPI or vouchers. Congress must keep the promise it made to our veterans with regard to military pensions. And finally, Congress must pass comprehensive immigration reform with a path to citizenship. 
No longer do millions of families deserve to live under the threat of being torn apart. The challenges for the Inland Empire and our nation are great. However, the resiliency, the resourcefulness, and the resolve of the American people are greater than the challenges at hand. It is a tremendous honor to be your representative in Congress, and I promise to work as hard as I can to improve our great nation. Thank you.